Hi guys, uh, today we are here to talk about our deploy server. So basically on this deploy server is going to be responsible for uh, build our entire project and deploy it on AWS using a ECS, uh, it's an Amazon uh, container server service I think. Um, so for doing that we are going to need a, a a uh, Docker image with everything that we are going to need to build this project and deploy in AWS. For example, you need Java 8, we need Maven, and we are going to use Jenkins for doing this uh, continuous deployment. Uh, we are going to need the AWS uh, command line uh, and ECS command line as well. And also, we are going to need uh, to handle the authentication and credentials uh, stuff to connect to the, our account in AWS and everything is done in a separated uh, repository that we created and where we are uh, we have everything set up and easy to ready to use okay and we are going to show you later so basically to have this uh, deployed you need to uh, follow some step that we are describing here so basically you have this uh, part of our reading uh, readme that it's talking about continuous deploy using Jenkins pipeline um, and here have some some instruction for you with some uh, useful information so but what we are gonna follow here is this part here that is step that you have you have to follow and in order to have this um, ready on AWS okay so the first thing is create your credentials on AWS uh, of course we assume that we already have an AWS account if not you sh uh, they have this one year free and you uh, must uh, check it out okay uh, so let's follow this so create your credential on AWS so uh, imagine that you already have um, uh, AWS account, you're gonna log in on your console and go to AM, IAM and create a new credential for you. So you go to AM, uh, so this is gonna be here if you are not very familiar with this and looking for IAM here and you're gonna see and you can just get in on it. Um, so then we go to users and add a new user for you. In my case, I already have mine here, and uh, you need to add some uh, permission to this user. And for this, you have created this group here that we added some uh, permission. There you go. There you go. Uh, you are gonna need this, all those permission here. Okay, that is what you need to create to. Uh, interact with a ECS and create our uh, tasks okay so we are not managing the cluster from the command line we could do that but we uh, I decided to make this easier so you, you're gonna need to go to the panel and create your cluster through this interface uh, so and you are gonna do this now so once you created your user you are gonna go to your user it's gonna give you the credentials in some point that's gonna here security credentials so basically here is gonna appear here your credentials so i already have two here and uh, i have this access key and it's not showing the secret one okay uh, and uh, so this cop from here and they're gonna when you are uh, just create a new access key they're gonna show the secret as well so um, next step let's go back to our steps you create your cluster on AWS so next the next stuff you need to go service e elastic elastic container server service and you're gonna need to create a new repository as well so it's not mentioned on the the steps but you're gonna need to create a repository as well so here uh, you just create you don't need uh, you don't need to do much you just create this button here it's gonna create a new one and you just put your uh, name here that's all and you just cop your repository as well because you're gonna need this later and 
also you need to create the cluster itself so create the cluster that's the important part so it's linux one just next create the cluster cluster test and uh, so we need to go to the large one because uh, this one he has eight uh, gigas of memory and you need six I think uh, but the previous one you have just four gigas so uh, my test is uh, based on this large one uh, number of instances let's use just one to make it uh, simple to follow it and so let's use uh, I already have here a key pair uh, if you don't have, maybe you can generate in some point. So you need some uh, knowledge about e EWS. So I uh, have a lot of um, material and tutorial on the internet, so you can easily get those things uh, explained uh, in depth on this part. Uh, so you're going to use, uh, you can create a new VPC, but I already have this some VPC here that it's everything open and to you know this yeah, sometimes it's very annoying that you cannot connect to your services because the port it's not open this kind of thing so I've already created something you know, totally open group here open and uh, so that's all so you set up these two things it's a VPC subnets and security group and you can choose here to create a new one but if you create a new one here make sure that you um, open the doors that we are gonna we are gonna use basically we are think you're gonna use from this until and uh, no, 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 no. that's is gonna be fine okay um, but in our case here let's just go because I'm sure this is working Open, but uh, that's it. So create the error on the page. Where is the error? Um, where is there? Secure. Open. Okay, if you have fucking error, tell me where. God's sake. Let's try it again. Next, cluster test. Large one and AWS full. Keep group open. Great. Yes, there we go. Um, it's creating. Let's see the next step here. Uh, have the build deploy container running. So this is our uh, extra pro project here that have everything that you need. So basically, you come here and clone this. Of course, first thing, clone it. I think I already have here. Uh, yeah. um, yeah, so I'm already here, I already cloned this and I already have this running. The next step is build it. Just uh, create the image with everything that you have here. And let's see what it's creating. Uh, what this uh, create an our image. You can just start it. And in the same time, you can just go through what you are installing here. So you are installing uh, cur and wget you're installing aws command line is aws ecs command line we are setting up some uh, configuration to uh, communicate with aws and ecs you install it docker this is a client of docker we're not installing docker inside our docker container we are just uh, installing some client here that is going to use the docker that is installed on the host machine okay so in my, my computer here i have docker and from the container you just access uh, the docker from my machine okay then we are installing uh, maven and we are running i start 
uh, script that it's uh, responsible for the start our uh, stuff that you need okay uh, we are not installed Java 8 here because we are using a Jinx um, image so on Jinx it's already using Java 8 there and also you have uh, Jank installed so we are using Jank here from, from the official image uh, after that we have here an, our uh, image successful uh, built next step is go to run the container okay so basically you copy all this here and uh, let me just show you here okay okay well, for run this we are passing some uh, inv inv environment variables that we are going to need that in inside our do uh, in the docker container so basically you need this uh, which cluster or the name of the cluster you create a cluster test on on our aws console and we are passing our access key and a secret key and aws repository ad address that we created before so and then and the region as well where you create your cluster so you have to put here the region as well and we are saying and we are mapping two ports okay and we are saying um jinx mapping some uh, some volumes as well and the important part is this is the part where we are mapping docker from our host machine inside to our um, container docker then when you are executing uh, command docker from our container we actually are executing from our host uh, con host machine okay and this is the build the, the docker image name uh, I already run this here so we already have this docker build running here okay and also uh let's show okay yeah, logs d69 and uh, yeah so there you go next step is okay here we already have you already oh let's access our container itself actually uh, and okay, you can copy here. You know, like I'm copying a lot from here because I want to demonstrate that uh, everything it's already meshed on the readme, and you just need to add the container. Uh, what's the container? Okay, PS. Okay, uh, D69. And we are inside the container, okay? And from here, we already have AWS version. And you have Java version. And we have. Uh, Docker version. Okay, so basically you have everything that you need. The Maven is on Maven. Yes. So you already have everything uh, that you need to build our project and communicate with AWS. Something that I suggest you to have a look is if, if this configuration here has uh, placed correctly because for setup here you are taking from uh, the values that we are passing from the environments here so it's good you to go and eat uh, one and check for example this one here let's see so look you are setting the region on this file and say the output is JSON so that's fine and go to the others as well do the same and check if your credential is correct so in those both uh, it's where we set our credentials so it's worth you go there and check if everything it's um, correct setup 
Um, next step it's here we already have our uh, deploy server container running so next step is go back to our here and have uh, check then access Jenkins panel so we already have here so basically how to access Jenkins is just go into this and the first time that you access Jenkins they ask for the, a password that it was printed in our container here here there you go so just show the logs from your deploy container and it's gonna show here then you go here place it and just continue yes you play it up you're gonna go through the Jenkins installation so we are gonna need some uh, Jenkins uh, plugins I could select that those that I need here but I, I'm not sure about those all those I need and uh, if I go here for the suggest one it's have everything that you, you need this is gonna take uh, a while uh, but while this is it's in, installed and the same time that it's in, in, installing we can go to the next step here and check it out create a pipeline job run job oh, okay um, and for those next step you are gonna need the the Jenkins run but worth we have a look to our deploy and um, AWS deploy script so we have those uh, we have automated the connection to the AWS and uh, everything is on this script here you can let's just a quick uh, walk through those. So we are authenticating to to AWS. We are again here setting up our repository. And before I, I I thought that could be good we pass on the container the name of the repository. But uh, later I, I was thinking better and maybe you can have more than one repository. And so it's better you set here. So that's the place that you should set um, your uh, repository URE and then we tag our uh, uh, docker image that we have for uh, every, every application and we then we send those to our repository so basically when you send to our repository we can go to uh, we look at our cluster if your cluster is ready so we can go to our cluster and see that we have ECS instance here And we have active container, um, yeah, that's our instance. So let's go to our instance As here because we're gonna need to check the IP of this instance to access our uh, services. And uh, so here in our repository, that's our repository. And here I already have all the image that I need to our self so we have a user service uh, api gateway remind ourselves all those here is the same that i have uh, uh, that i have it uh, okay. the images no look those here is the same that we have there and why this because here it's local and we are trying to deploy on AWS, so you need to uh, pull pull our image from an uh, online place. So you need to put that in somewhere. You could go use uh, so the Docker Hub, I think. Docker Hub, all the images there. It's it's free and open, but we don't want our uh, our container. Uh, open for everyone so you put this on the private place that it's in AWS uh, private repository and going back to our script so you are sending all those uh, docker images to the AWS then we run our AWS compose AML so basically it's, it's similar to what we are doing local but then you are using AWS ECS client to do that 
and on this ML we have very similar of what you have uh, run before uh, it's quite similar but with some small difference that we need that AWS need and uh, you can go here and have a look what you have here and then after run deploy uh, you can go to to the browser and test that and send for anyone you want so that's gonna be on online and um, let's check if we already have our oh great our jenks and let's do admin and admin 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 Save and finish. Um, no. Yeah, start using Jenx. Okay, we have our Jenx uh, running. So the next step is to create a pipeline job. So pipeline it's a plugin of Jenx, and so to create that, you just go to new item and choose pipeline and say enter one name for that and uh, let's say bootstrap bootstrapping microsoft and just microsoft plan. and okay And all you need to do is put our pipeline here, our script here. There is two ways of using a pipeline script. You can grab from a uh, git repository. For example, you can go to uh, git Jenks script. Let's paste our repository. Gone. Here, can we paste it? And credentials now. Branch master. Don't need to do anything else. Just that. And I don't need to add the positive. No, not it. Is that it? Apply. Yeah. That's all. So what is happening here? It's going to our git here and looking for this file here, Jenks file. And here it's what we want that be, have to be executed. So first uh, stage, you can separate for stage. Inside a stage you can put uh, as much as um, and script you want so in my first stage is just fetching for chains and just go to this and and clone the project itself then build the images so run those package uh, project that we already uh, saw in the previous video then this is going to create all the image then you're going to just go and deploy AWS using the script that I just showed you guys so let's see if that's working and uh, it's already saved, I think. Let's to build it now. That the time. And uh, when you are here, you can, yeah, you can see this happen here on the graph. Okay. The first part was success. So fetch any changes from our Git. You can show here the log. Grab everything and push deploy the last comment. Then we are build the image so you can see the, the result. Ah, it's not very updating, but you still have the option of go to the console the output and you can see all those output. So it's downloading, uh, it's running Maven, so basic, so it's downloading all those and necessary 
the libraries. This is gonna take a while because uh, you know, it's, it's gonna download all those those dependencies, create the image, build, create the image, and, and so on, and then uh, it's gonna start to send uh, everything to to AWS. This is gonna take a while. I think I'm gonna pause that and I will go back when it is finished. Uh, uh, here we are in the, in the next point, so we already uh, was uh, built the project. Now we are sending uh, the, uh, the image to AWS, so this is a docker push to this uh, to this repository here, it's sending every uh, every uh, container image, actually Docker image to this. So I will send few and still some reminding. And oh, look, finish send all those, and now it's trying to send to AWS uh, task definition. So let's see if everything goes well. The task and deploying. Now it's just AWS uh, job, basically. I think you can already go to a it's pending. You can see here that we have a new task, and you can go inside the task and see that it's pending, and you already have all those containers here. And not all, but most of those. And it's soon we are going to be able to uh, access those through to the IP of our container. Um, oh, by the way, that's an important information. You need to know what's the IP of our container. There we go. And um, yeah, then we're going to go to this. And access, uh, for example, um, and our config server, for example. Uh, and what you need to have this work. Oh, look, didn't work, so the container was stopped, and that happened when we have a problem in our cluster here. So, uh, how AWS works is if one of the container goes uh, wrong, uh, they stop all container in that task. So, how AWS organized things is one, con one task can have many containers and uh, one service can have many tasks. Uh, when you are talking about production, the correct way is create services because this service you are going to add uh, some uh, role, add load balance and many other things. But for our test here, just create tests, it's, it's okay. Um, so why why didn't work? Why the container was stopped? And that is because I forgot to change uh, ECS instance container here in our AWS compose so I need to replace all the things with uh, the instance IP this can be uh, improved and make this uh, dynamic but I didn't do it yet I haven't done it yet so I'm maybe in the future so let's try it again uh, because we did this change locally and our Deployment. It's coming from. Uh, look, was finished here. Was deployed. The container was uh, started, but in AWS, a part of our deploy, and uh, something went wrong. If we are using service instead, uh, this will wait for the health check and everything uh, before finish the, the test. And, but here we, are, we don't have this health check so, so they just sent and created those uh, container AWS uh, things considering that that was done already 
and so how this works uh, let's go back to our here gotcha configuration so look these steps everything green and because our task it's coming from github our change that I just did here have to be deployed on uh, not deployed sent to github and this will uh, bring those change and start everything again but we can uh, we don't like this is gonna take time and you can just uh, skip this part you already tested this this is deploying AWS uh, using our script everything is fine and okay the problem was just that thing uh, but this is this is what's involved to change uh, to deploy AWS using Jenkins that's done and it's okay you're gonna just f uh, fix that stuff that we left behind and and you're gonna be able to finish the, the video